In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a church flyer like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hi everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. Inside the description of this video will be a link to download all the resources that I'll be using if you want to download them and practice. And in case you are done and you want to show it up to me, you can send it over to Instagram and then we can take it from there. Now let's get into Photoshop and let's get started. I'll be doing this in Photoshop 2021 but this should work with any other version that you are having. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to create a project. So you go to Ctrl plus N, you open new, and then you are going to create any size that you want. In this case, we are going to make use of inches. We are going to set the width to four and then the height also to four. You make sure that your resolution is at 300 and then you can click on create. We are going to start off with the background. So we go to the gradient fill adjustment and then we are going to create a gradient. Now head over to your gradient and if you are doing this for the first time you might not have anything like this but then of course if you've already saved some gradient you might have something like this we are going to select the gradient that we want to use if you don't have any one of them you can simply go and choose any of the gradients that has two bars like this and then you can go ahead and change the colors from colors that you're having to the first one like this one and then the second one is going to be this particular color now once you're done you go ahead you click ok and then ok from here we are going to change the style to radial and then we are going to maintain it like this and then you can go ahead and click ok now head over to file place embedded and then you are going to bring in the backgrounds that we downloaded so i got almost all of these from google and then you're going to double click on the first background this one here and then you can take your time to position it somewhere around this place now once you have it to the part or the place that you want right click on the layer and then you can rasterize it now we are going to add our layer max to it and then we are going to choose the brush to be for the brush to make sure that your brush is very bigger like this one and then you can use the curly brackets to do this and then you make sure that you have your foreground color also to be black and then you can start painting or brushing over these areas so you can brush up to about this point and if this looks better for you you can leave it like that and now we can select our layer press ctrl u to select the hue and saturation and then you can add some more saturation to it so that it brightens you can even open the levels as well and open it up something like this should be fine and then you click on ok press ctrl t and let's transform this up some more something like this should work fine for us all right so now we can start adding the test and then every other thing the first thing we are going to focus on is the heading to save time i've already made the test available so we are just going to be copying and pasting the test so the first thing we are going to bring in is the logo so we are going to open the logo we have the logo in the resources and then we are going to unlock the logo here go and choose the magic one tool and then you are going to make the selections around the logo so you delete it press ctrl d to deselect and then you can send it into your project so you are going to place it on the top left somewhere around here and then this should be fine so we have the first test to be the church so we are going to copy that back into photoshop you are going to choose our test tool and the first one that we are going to use is poppins so you select your test tool and then you left click and then you are going to place your test so you select all of them and then we are going to change this from bold to medium and then we can take our time press ctrl t to resize it to the size that we want so you can place it somewhere around here now let me just do a quick readjustment over here let's bring this down a little bit all right so you can now focus on your test and let's make this one semi bold okay and then we can select it go to the toggle character and space it out a little bit like this and then we can place it over here now we can go back to our logo press ctrl t and then we can transform it slightly like this and then we can hold ctrl select the main heading and press ctrl g to group that and then we can call this one heading you can press ctrl a and then make sure that it is centered and then you press ctrl d to deselect that 
next off you are going to make a duplicate of this test bring it down and then you can change this one to present we are going to select it all and then we are going to change the font type to edwardian script press ctrl t and then we can open it up something very bigger like this but it is too close so we will select all the test again go to the toggle character and then we can change this one to zero and then you hit on enter now once you have this you can press ctrl a and then you make sure that it is centered and then you can push it up somewhere around here so this is going to be part of the heading so we can close that folder for now the next one that we're going to focus on is the main program so it is holy ghost action campaign so the font that we are going to use for that is still going to be poppins so we are going to select the test tool again and this time around we are using poppins bold and then we are going to type holy so you press ctrl t transform it to make it bigger like this and then make sure that in the talk character this one is closed up so you are going to make the horizontal space minus 90 and then you can make the size about 51 which should be fine so we are going to press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered and then we can push it up over here now we are going to right click go to the blending options and then we are going to add a gradient overlay on top of that so you select your gradient overlay and then this is the gradient overlay that we are going to use it is right here so this is going to be the first hex code and this is the second one now once you choose the hex code that you want you can click ok and then ok at this point everything is going to remain as it is linear and then the angle is five and then you can click ok from here next we make one more duplicate of the holy so Control plus j and then we can drag it down here we are going to edit that to ghost but instead of the o in the ghost we are going to neglect that and then space it out like this we need some more space in there so we can use the tab over here hit on it about two or three and then you are going to have something like this so you take your time and then you position it up here press ctrl a and make sure that it is centered now we are supposed to write ghost but we neglected one of the letters that is o so inside of our resource we have a fire a burning fire type of image so we go to file place embedded and then we can bring that in so we are going to bring in this fire type of image and then we can scale it up neatly and make sure that it is placed over here so scale it up some more and then you can place it over here and that means that we are going to have to close this up a little bit more like that so we have something like this and then we can position this one right over here right click and rasterize the layer and then we can press ctrl plus l to activate the levels and then turn this one off slightly like this so this should be fine then we go ahead and then we click ok now for the ghost instead of the gradient overlay to be here we are going to double click on that go to the gradient and then we are going to reverse it so you select your gradient so we are going to choose the reverse over here so that it will be at the other side now underneath of the ghost we want to create a rectangle so we are going to select the rectangle tool and then we are going to create a rectangle over here press ctrl a and then make sure that it is centered and then we want to have the gradient effect on the ghost or the ghst onto the rectangle as well so you hold alt and then you drag this fx onto the rectangle that you just created and then it will be on it now on top of this we are going to type in the action campaign so we copy that back into photoshop and then we are going to select our test you're going to hold shift and then you create a test on top of the rectangle and then we are going to paste the action campaign select it all and then we are going to give it a color like something very darker from here or you can come down a little bit and then you click ok and then ok from here press ctrl t and then you can transform it nicely like that press ctrl a and then make sure that it is centered and then you can push it over here you realize that since we have the vertical line at about 110 it looks very compact it's so close together so we are going to select this and then change it to minus 50 hit on enter and then this should be fine now you can select from the action campaign to the holy and then you can group that and call it the main you can even press ctrl t transform it slightly like that press ctrl a and then you can center it 
now let's make a quick correction over here we realize that over here we maintain the normal but instead go and change that to overlay so that the test can be you know very popping now we can select the main again and press ctrl t to transform it slightly it looks too big for me so we can position it in the middle and then we are good to go now it's time to add the date the venue and then the time so we are going to select our test tool and then we are going to choose we are still using poppins so we are going to paste the the date right over there we press ctrl t and then you can transform it neatly like that you can still transform it slightly like that and then you can place it somewhere around here now we want this gradient on the rectangle here onto this this particular test as well so we can go to our main go to the rectangle right click and then we can copy layer style go to our test and then we can right click and go to paste layer style so the gradient that we applied is going to be affected on this one as well now the venue so for the venue we are going to create a rounded rectangle so you choose your rounded rectangle and then you can create a very nice one small like this we are going to decrease the fill to zero percent right click and go to blending options we are going to add a stroke to it so we are going to select the stroke and then we are going to make sure that the size is around four and for the fill type we are going to choose gradient go to our gradient and then we are going to choose the gradients that we used for this rectangle and then the test so this particular one right over here and then you can click ok ok from here now you can right click on it and go to rasterize layer style so that you can cut a portion of this one now at this point we are going to make a duplicate of our date so ctrl j to duplicate that bring it over here and then we are going to change that to venue you can press ctrl t and transform it neatly like this and then you can position it somewhere around here but you realize that the line here is distracting it so what we do is we go to the rounded rectangle go and pick our rectangular marquee tool and then we can cut a portion of this so we can select up to this side for instance and then we can hit on delete press ctrl t and then your venue is set so we can make one more duplicate of the venue here bring it down and then we are going to change it to the venue that we have tested so this is going to be the venue we copy that select the venue edit it and then we can paste it over here so you can take your time to position it very nicely like this as well and then you are good to go the next thing is we make one more duplicate drag it right underneath here and then we can change that also to the time you can press ctrl t to transform that also slightly like that and press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered and you can position it somewhere over here now we can select from the rounded rectangle to the 26 that is the date and then group that and call it date time and venue if this looks small for you you can press ctrl t to transform it slightly the next thing is the theme so for the theme it is going to be a very simple one we are going to create an ellipse so you select your ellipse and then you can hold shift to create a perfect ellipse like this now you can push it up here slightly like that and then you are going to right click on it go to the blending options and then we are going to give it a gradient overlay so you select your gradient overlay and then you can go to select any gradient that you want we have one here one here but then we are selecting something that matches with the colors that we are working with so this worked well for me and then you can click ok so we are going to uncheck the reverse and then you can click ok now at this point you are realizing that the date time and venue is kind of overshadowed by the ellipse so we can press ctrl t and transform it slightly like this and then on top of our ellipse we can type in our theme so the theme is going to be the theme for the methodist church for the year 2022 we come into photoshop we select our test tool and then we hold shift and then we can paste our theme so we are going to select it or we don't want it in the bold form so we want it semi bold select the color and then we are going to give it a color from here click ok and then ok and then you can press ctrl t to transform it nicely till it fits right into the ellipse at this point we don't want it in the left aligned so we can select the test again and then we can select centered choose your move tool and then you can take your time to position it in here 
you can press ctrl t and transform it slightly like that and you can even bring it over here like this so we can select these two and call it the theme the next thing is going to be the speakers so for the speakers also we are going to create a rounded rectangle so a rounded rectangle here press ctrl a to make sure that it is centered and then we can copy the same effect onto the rounded rectangle as well so you hold alt drag it onto the rounded rectangle and then you are good to go you can close your theme so that you don't get confused and then you can select our test tool and then type in here speakers so you select all of them like that and then you can position it here i think this one it looks too big so let's select the two and then you make sure that it is centered as well and then we can select the two group it press ctrl t and then we can transform it slightly like this so let's center it all over again and then we can push it to the top slightly like that we are going to open the group that we just made and then make a duplicate of the speakers and then we can bring it here and then we can change it to the name of the speakers so we have the speaker's name right over here so i'm going to copy that select the speakers here and then i'm going to paste it now we are going to select all of that go to the color and then we change it to the color white and then we click ok now you can take your time to transform it so ctrl t to transform it nicely and bring it somewhere around here you can press ctrl t and transform it some more like that and then you press ctrl a and then you can center it now i feel like the theme here is too big so we can select that and close it up slightly push it up a bit and then we can open our date time and venue up slightly as well so something like this should be fine now we can make a duplicate of the names and then we can bring it down here and then we are going to edit that to come and experience the power of god so we go back to photoshop select all of these and then we are going to paste it over here so you can bring it down slightly like that but this time around we want this effect on it as well so you hold alt and drag it onto this particular one select it all and then we are going to open it up horizontally like that and then you can push it up over here now we are almost done with the design it's left with some few touches that is the element but then don't forget to group this one also and call it the speakers so for the elements the first one that we are going to apply on this is going to be underneath of all the layers so it's going to be on top of the background here so we are going to select the background layer go to file and then place embedded and then we have this particular eye stock photo over here so we are going to bring that into photoshop you are going to place it at the extreme left side over here somewhere around here open it up slightly like that and then you can right click and rasterize go to the blend mode and then you can set this to screen we can then press ctrl l and then we add some levels to it something like that we darken it some more so that the fire intensity remember the fire here can show up and then you can click ok from here the next one that we are going to apply will be on top of all the other layers so we are going to select the last folder that we made and on top of that we go to file place embedded and then we are going to select this particular element and then we bring it in here so we are going to place it somewhere around here double click on it you can right click rasterize and then we can go to the blend mode and set this one also to screen so we want to have it somewhere around here you realize that there are some background if you can see it clearly from here to fix that you can press ctrl l to add the levels to it and then we adjust it slightly like that and then you can go ahead and click ok like this now we are going to make one more duplicate and then we can send it on top here so we can bring it somewhere around here and this should be fine so we can group these two and call it elements and yes just like that you create a very nice design for your revival you can use this for a revival conference or any other church flyer that you want to create remember that all the elements that i used in this video will be in the description you can download it and practice and then you can send it to me on instagram and then i'll check it over for you i hope this video was helpful if it was a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated and thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye